Dallas still has to show that they can rise up in this game, have Dak Prescott play a heck of a game, put the run game together, and, and beat a good team. It's not, I'm not to sit here and say they can't because I think K-State, Miami, and Philadelphia or, and Dallas could all win games this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but th- that's the narrative they have to disprove that you know they're good against bad competition, uh, but they won't be able to, to rise up and beat a really good team on the road in Philadelphia. Uh, you know, I, I, I just love the matchup of Dak and Pre- and Dak and uh, Jalen Hurts. It just began last year, but this is now the quarterback matchup of the NFC, Rod. Yeah, well, Dak is actually playing some of his best football. I think that's the good thing for Cowboys fans is that he's playing some of his best football, and Dak traditionally has been really good within the division, uh, and that includes against the Eagles, against Nick Sirianni. Yeah, you know, when he starts against Nick Sirianni, he he wins. Now, you know, and even if you know Jalen Hurts, obviously, obviously, right now, I think he's the best quarterback in that division. But if Dak plays really well, the Cowboys got a chance. If Dak doesn't, then they got no shot. There's no way they can because they don't have a running game right now. Tony Pollard really has not represented a true threat in the running game, and until that happens, you got to lean on Dak and, and that offense. I think in the bye week, they fixed some of the issues in the passing game. I don't think they have yet addressed, and maybe they have, but they they haven't remedied the issues in the running game just yet. Well, meanwhile, Jalen Hurts is over 2,000 yards passing. I mean, he's got 500 more passing yards than Dak and 13 touchdowns thrown. He's now thrown it. He's thrown eight picks this year, and he's been more turnover prone this year, and he knows that. Meanwhile, he the, the combination of Jalen Hurts and uh, DeAndre Swift, Rod, they've rushed for 850 yards and nine touchdowns. Uh, so the Eagles do have they both. Yeah, they don't have a rushing issue. <laughs> they, they run the ball. They lean into their run game. Yeah. Uh, and Jalen Hurts a big part of it. Jalen Hurts a little dinged. Jalen Hurts is dealing with a knee. Uh, really look forward to this game because there's no question in my mind the Cowboys are coming off their best performance of the year. Um, what they did against the Rams. And, again, they're not a great team. But Matt Stafford, Aaron Donald, um, you know, Cooper Cup, P- Puka Nakua, you're dealing with some really good players there. I mean, they beat the, the breaks off of the L.A. Rams. That yeah, game yeah. was like a, a Mike Tyson, you know, early round knockout. That was really impressive. And Dak Prescott was so sharp. That's why. They, uh, that's why they look so yeah. good because he was so sharp. Uh, yeah, and the offense joined the parade. They joined the defense and the special teams. Can you carry that into Philadelphia, though? The last time we were in this spot on a Friday was about the San Francisco game. Looking forward to seeing this. And obviously the Cowboys didn't rise up. They got flattened uh, by the Niners. Who but the Niners have gone on to look pretty pretty average post that Cowboys dominating win because well, um, the quarterback's not playing as well. It really, I mean, I hate to simplify for that regard, but if your quarterback's playing at a high level, your team's going to respond to that. If your quarterback's not playing at a high level, like Brock Purdy is now, he's he's just kind of hit a little bit of a slump. Nobody is, is off the bandwagon, but he's hit a bit of a slump. And the 49ers, with some of the injuries that have mounted up, they also have followed suit and hit that slump. Your quarterback can cover up a lot of flaws. Yeah, sure. If your quarterback is playing at a high level, and I think that's what 